Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Dos Cavazos here. I'm Anthony. I'm Casey. And we are watching episode 9 of Rick and Morty season 1. Yay! We're actually almost done with the season. I know. 11 episodes, uh, which I thought was 10. Uh, yeah. I didn't feel like Thank figure that out. Thank you to whoever until... that was in the comments that told us. On episode 8, yes. <laughs> yeah. So, last episode, we got a lot of continuity. So, we got to see the different dimensions, which is crazy because they literally did not leave the house, which was awesome because we don't leave the house. They were literally just watching TV all the time. <laughs> they were doing what we're doing. What? Oh, yeah. Um, relatable. And then Morty actually referenced, like, their dead bodies. That sounds yeah. so weird. So, the fact that they actually referenced, you know, like, a previous episode is really awesome. I've been, First time. I've been looking forward to the continuity. Not that I really care because each episode is really entertaining of itself. Um... But I know a lot of you have said, like, you know, it's continuity, coming, it's continuity. coming. Um, so that was, like, really, really awesome. We got to see a bunch of the different dimensions, which I know, like, a lot of people think that there are um, multiple dimensions in the Multiverse. universe. Um, some people don't. Whatever, let us know what you if you have thoughts on that down below. I really don't know how to feel about that, but <laughs> in a different dimension, she's actually Elizabeth Olsen and she's Scarlet Witch. And I'm Steve Carell. <laughs> ah, Kelly Clarkson. Honestly, like it's just funny because I have no predictions. Like in all of our other yeah. shows, I usually, every episode's so unique. Yeah, like I usually am like, okay, well, I think this is gonna happen. This is, I hope this is gonna happen. And this one, I'm like, mm, I don't know. All bets are off. Anything could happen. But by the way. If you haven't already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the bell. We do our reactions on the Rock series where we have a few drinks um, and watch a fun show every single Saturday. We're not drinking every Saturday, but we post it every Saturday. Currently, we're Season watching one. Rick and Morty. Um, when we're done with Rick and Morty, we'll watch another show. <laughs> we already know what it is. Do you know? If you guess it, we'll heart it. Yeah, if you guess it right, we'll, we'll heart the right one. So let us know down below if you think you know what the next show is going to be. And if you haven't already, please check out our Patreon. Uh, we have a full link for reactions of there as well as some bloopers from tonight. Are you looking for the perfect gift for a Rick and Morty fan? Well, head on over to mortifymeofficial.com. Upload your image, you can choose however many people or pets you want, choose your picture style, and then add a background. Check out what they did for us. You can also see it in our video today in our background. Make sure you use the code DOSE10 for an additional 10% off your order. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. Well, scientifically, traditions are an idiot thing. Morty, I think <laughs> it would be fun for you to work on a science project with your she's dad. Texting. I bet she's texting that fucking surgeon she works with. Uh, uh, oh, shit, no, she's texting him. Yeah, Dad, why don't we do it together? Yes. What is my purpose? Pass the butter. <laughs> you made a robot to pass the butter. What is my purpose? You pass butter. Aww. Oh, my God. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. Oh shit, that was kind of dark. I think that hurt my feelings. <laughs> my boss is this really smart, eccentric old man that treats me nice and values me. Some voids can't be filled with Jamba Juice. This aftershave <laughs> makes a man quite irresistible to win. Free of charge, one never pays here. Not with money. Nothing to read into there, thanks! There goes your soul. He was just this is where she works? <laughs> Tell me, Rick, what do you desire? Eh, I make my own stuff. <laughs> so what are you, like, the devil? What? Sorry? <laughs> I don't know. Store comes out of nowhere. All the shit's old and creepy. Are you the devil? A demon? Leprechaun? Grandpa Rick! Hey, I'm not judging. I just like to shoot straight. I'm a man of science. <laughs> Perhaps you could... This microscope reveals things beyond comprehension. Why does Rick always wear a white coat? A lab coat? He's not I always in the lab. and drink. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Hey, how about we use a ping pong ball for Pluto? And of course Pluto's a planet, son. I learned that in the third grade. Well, yeah, but, it changed. you know, they changed it. Or, yeah, I don't Googled give a it. shit. Pluto's, Pluto's still a planet. planet. They changed it in 2006. I remember that. And Pluto's I disagree. You, you're Jerry? <laughs> yeah. Does evil exist? And if so, can one detect and measure it? Um, cute. Your sister's boss gave me a microscope that would have made me retarded. Ooh, well, I don't think you're allowed to say that word, you know? Uh, Morty, I'm not disparaging the differently abled. I don't care what anyone says. If it can be a planet it can be a planet again planet stay scientific jerry <laughs> this aftershave made women want me but it also made me impotent a price for everything <laughs> mr golden hey. this huh? serum should <clears throat> counteract the negative effects Holy <laughs> cat! ladies let's get out of here <laughs> Here, oh, you can have this. He's about back. to end this you whole man's career. It? Sure, I did. To develop this, it detects and catalogs all your Twilight Zone, Ray Bradbury, Friday the 13th, the series <laughs> voodoo crap magic. I thought you might want it so you didn't accidentally sell anybody, say, 
A typewriter that generates best-selling murder mysteries and then makes the murders happen in real life? Hey! <laughs> Your parents are having a slapping match? I like working here. You work for the devil! So what? Summer, you know your grandfather's right. This store curses people. Please, call me the devil. <laughs> I'd rather not, Yes, perhaps actually. not during business hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, what the hell? Science isn't always easy, Morty. Whoa. What the hell? They just lost gravity. They're getting oh, abducted? Shit. What? By who? Which aliens? Ruler of the Creeps! We discovered you quite by accident during routine surveillance of your world. You really gave it to those guys at NASA. I was... <laughs> Are they from Pluto? Oh, I'd like to introduce you to a few people that very much agree with you. Oh, Plutonians! Plutonians! <laughs> Jerry Smith is a scientist from Earth where he's creating a model of our solar <laughs> system. Jerry, tell Pluto about your decision. Oh. Pluto's a planet. <laughs> F yeah. They're all celebrating. Plutonians got discriminated against. I might suggest. I'll take it. Uh, but, but I haven't even. Thank you very, very much. Great store, great place. People Bye. just want. Oh. They don't care. I must say, Summer, I thought your grandfather's outburst would have disrupted business, but this is the best weekend I've had since Salem. Now Salem? Mrs. Tate, is it? Tate? The common last name, Anthony. Everything's free, right? Let's just say you don't pay with money. Damn it, Summer! You're going to the freaking dark side! Execute Order 66! Well, I'm going to get the curses removed at Curse Purge Plus. You know, the guy on TV. <laughs> what? Have you acquired right? creepy specific old stuff from a mysterious antique or thrift store that gives you powers but fucks with you in unforeseeable ways? Bring it to Curse Purge Plus! I, I, I use science <laughs> to uncurse the items for cash, and you get to keep the powers. Is Rick, I love Rick! Earth scientist Jerry Smith, who's oh making God. headlines with his bold announcement that is what Jerry? Pluto is a planet. They're all happy they get to be Aww. a planet again. Loopers, I'm a scientist. Can I show you something? Uh, I better not yes. right now. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> Damn it, Scrooby Dooper! Pluto, Mr. Smith, is made of a substance called plutonium. Mines like these so. suck plutonium <laughs> up to the cities where corporations use it to power everything from diamond cars to golden showers. And the more we golden use, showers, the more Pluto shrinks. Yikes. It goes again. Just shrank a little. But a few just years ago, a little. <laughs> scientists noticed Pluto had gotten so small they couldn't even call it a planet anymore. Should have been our wake up call. <laughs> but the rich Plutonians won't wake up. And they love your dad telling everyone Pluto's a planet because that means they can keep mining until Pluto goes from planet to asteroid to meteor and finally. Poof. Um. <laughs> that is so fucking dark. Oh my. Jesus, what a waste of a monkey paw. <laughs> oh, look, it's Rosemary's baby. Minions. Rosemary's baby. Last of our inventory. We're going to file chapter 11 and do some restructuring. Sounds like code for you win, Rick. That was important to you, wasn't it? Nope. I just got bored. Everybody out. I just got bored. Oh my god. Now that's what the anti-planet nut job Scroopy Noopers was screaming about outside the Ministry of Money's fundraiser. Are you telling me four billion Plutonians are wrong? You said science wasn't easy. I Don't talk shit about Pluto. <laughs> What did you think about the recent report published by the Pluto Science Reader linking Pluto quakes, sinkholes, and surface shrinkage to deep core plutonium drilling? Well, son, what did you think when you were five and you pooped your pants and you threw your poopy undies out your bedroom window because you thought it was like throwing something in the garbage? <laughs> hey, Morty, you want to go on a... Oh. Hey, Beth? Hello? Nobody's there. Hey, Jerry, you in here being stupid? <laughs> he doesn't want to go with him. He's sad. Aww, he's lonely. He oh, he's a butter robot. Hey, uh, I was thinking, uh, you know, I might watch a movie. I am not programmed for friendship. Uh, suit yourself. Aww. Hey, <clears throat> hey, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> um, listen, can you help me do this stupid science fair project? Whatever. <laughs> he wants, he wants to. to help. Damn it. 
Rick. Take him to Plutonimo Bay. You can't <laughs> kill the Plutonimo Bay. Did he call you father? Scroopy Noopers? The anti-planet nut job is your son? The young eat the old if you let them, Jerry. Pluto is a cold, <laughs> cold celestial dwarf. It's a what? Huh? Oh, planet! <laughs> oh, Pluto is a cold, cold planet! Uh-oh. That's what I meant. Jerry, you gotta fight the freaking system, man. Break their damn hearts. You gotta do not it. You gotta planet. tell them the truth. <gasps> They're throwing weird planet. alien shit at him. Hey, How much did we make? <laughs> this is my business. Security! You're Zuckerberging me? I was Zuckerberging <laughs> people before Zuckerberg's balls dropped. I'm the devil, biatch! What the, the fuck? The devil went down to Georgia? Is that what that was supposed to freaking be? Hey, Marty. Oh, oh, oh hey, Dad. Was um, what? what are you doing back from Pluto so, so quick? Uh, some people just can't handle the truth. <laughs> oh especially gosh. dummies like me. Hey, Dad. Nobody's smarter than Rick, but nobody else is my dad. You're a genius at that. I'm just gonna take this thing in and... Get an A. Butter. But you're a genius at being <laughs> the like butter dad, dad. Thing. Quit while you're ahead. And also, knock next time, you know? I mean, I'm sitting in here. I'm 14. I got a computer in here, you know? Oh, I, uh, I think I understand. You know, you're really playing with fire when you burst in here like that. Did we learn a lesson here I'm not seeing? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe in a much bigger way. Mr. Needful gave us both what we really wanted. Because I was always jealous of you hanging out with Morty and you didn't realize how much you valued my approval? No, nah, that's dumb. Not satisfying. Let's go and give it to you. Let's go and give it to you. Shut her in the air. What the fuck? This is the best. Thank you, Seattle. Ah, oh, fuck yeah. Fuck the devil. So that episode was really good. For a little bit I was like, eh, and then I was like, ah. But I thought it was interesting that it like threw in both elements of Pluto and the devil, which both elements of Pluto and the devil, like they're synonymous with each other. What the hell? Um, I grew up thinking that Pluto was a planet. Yeah. That's what they taught me in elementary school. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so like when Pluto wasn't a planet, my whole world got rocked. I thought it did speak a good message about, you know, like the people who do want to conceal things that are important that we should pay attention to. Rick made his own side business to counteract the devil, but you gotta defeat that guy. And then like, they beat him up at the end. Like Rick literally just made that his whole mission and then like got, got bored with it after he tried to kill himself and then burn the fucking business down. Like what the fuck? I thought it was interesting that we did get to see a little bit into Rick's, you know, like he looked for people to talk to. Nobody was there. And then like yeah. when Morty came in, he was like, Oh, what do you want to hang out? You know, like he yeah. acted like nonchalant. You know, a lot of people that are really smart just don't have a lot of other people that really understand them that can relate to them just because, you know, it's it's hard to think in a level of somebody that has the ability to think that level. Um, so you really get to see a sense of Rick. He's kind of alone in this world because not a lot of people can see from his perspective. It's a little bit sad and I feel for Rick and it's like a cartoon is making me feel for a character in the cartoon. <laughs> Um, but I think that that's one of the things that makes this show really great is it's because not saying that we're all like Rick level smart but it is relatable because sometimes we can feel alone and it makes you less lonely to know that other people feel alone too so yeah, yeah. so this episode was still funny um, you know it takes a lot of like real world issues and then like you know makes light of them in a sense I think that that's like one of the big themes of the entire series um, the show it's important to be able to talk about things that, first of all, we're uncomfortable with, things that are happening in, make light of them. in our world. Like, we have to be able to talk about them, and sometimes it's difficult to, like, talk about them flat out. We need to be able to have a platform to talk about them, but it can be difficult, and adding humor, making light of it, is something that can make it more, make it, make it easier to talk about, and this show does a great job about, you know, talking about that stuff, and, like, Hearing something else say these things that like you're so uncomfortable with or you're struggling yeah. with makes you feel less alone. 
And I think one of the greatest things about being a human is making other people feel less alone in this world. Um, so I think that this show's really awesome and just making you feel less alone in the things that you maybe might be questioning. So I learned in elementary school that Pluto is a planet. I don't give a crap what a scientist says. It's still a planet to me. I'm just... Anyway, so if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you can stay notified for our future videos, including our reactions on the rocks every single Saturday. Um, we also have our Patreon where we include our full length reactions for this series as well as all of our other reactions. Um, we got bloopers, bloopers from these nights too. They're pretty funny. Exclusive shows, all kinds of stuff. So go ahead and check that out in our link down in the description box. And we will see you in our next Rick and Morty episode. Bye, Bye guys.